어. 아. 어. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if you've been with us before. What are we doing today? It's Subway. Subway. We're off to try the new garlic bread option. And some hash browns because we've not tried them yet. Yep. So uh, we'll see you in a minute when we've got it. The deed has been done. Subway haven't jumped on the plastic <clears throat> like the paper straw. Bag. No, Subway have still got plastic straws, you know, even though they're not trying to help save the environment. I still love a plastic straw. What did we get? Some sauce. We got some sauce. <laughs> some salt. Some hash browns which are seeping through the bag. We'll eat them first. Eat them first. Mm -hmm. Okay, we thought we'd give the hash browns a go because we haven't had them. They've been out for a while, as has the cheesy garlic bread option. Has it? Yeah, it's been out oh, for a bit. You made it out like it was new. Well, it is new. Okay, so I'm about, so I suppose they're pretty hot. Dink it. Dink. They're nice, but they're like really doughy. I like them. I love a hash brown. Ah, hot. What I'm trying to say is a lot of it inside is like mashed potato. Diced up potato, aren't you? Diced up. Not mashed potato. Wanted... <gasps> Fudge. Fudge, it's hot. I think they're going to be nice with ketchup. Well, it's like a chicken. Oh, of course, it? it's going to be nice with ketchup. It's like a chip. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Mm. The Southwest sauce. My favourite sauce from Subway. Mm. Ketchup, it's much better with ketchup, but I just love Southwest sauces. Mm. Yeah, that is good. Now, now for, for the, the main event. The main event. Oh. Mm. I think this is the only Subway wow. wrap that they wrap in um, Subway wrap, Subway sandwich that they wrap in foil. For some reason. You know that was in file before I opened it. What? Did you know that was in file before I opened it? Yeah. Because oh. I watched them file it up. Oh yeah, it was in there <laughs> when they made the sandwich. The smell. Oh yes. Mm. I need to get the smell hits you. So we got it with ketchup. Always. Always for you. I had to make a big sacrifice for my subway experience. We got a foot long, and the reason we got a foot long... I don't know um, why we got a foot long. Used... No, we got a foot long because if we both got one, it would cost far too much. Oh. It's an extra two pounds and one pence just to get garlic and the cheese, That's which nice. is a bit a bit pricey, but it's worth it. I had to sacrifice all my salad, and, and you know I like salad. Really? Are you ready? It smells amazing. Dink it. Dink! Dink. Mmm. Mmm. That's very, very good. Mm. That's garlicky, alright. This completely changes the mm -hmm. sandwich, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know how I feel paying an extra two pounds. Just for some garlic butter. Well, that's what I was just gonna say, it, is it worth the Because that's all delicious. it literally is. It's just garlic butter. Yeah, because And the cheese, cheese you're paying for, but you get cheese anyway you get cheese normally on a bmt but this one it's got cheddar and red leicester oh has so it so you've got extra cheese but still but still two pound for a bit of garlic butter and yeah. some because like red if, if you got extra cheese on top of the normal cheese that comes with it oh oh i bit my <laughs> face <laughs> Only about your face. <laughs> oh. Out. Where was I? If he's going to order extra cheese on top of the normal cheese, 
but it only normally costs an extra 30p I think it is so so we're essentially paying one pound 71 for some garlic butter, some garlic butter. and it doesn't cost one pound 71 you can get a tub of butter for one pound 71 can't you and then some garlic cloves and add that to it. It does taste very good though. It is delicious. Also, they've started doing a, a new bread, a chili and paprika, which we wanted to try, but it's sold out. It's sold out. Next time, we'll, uh, we'll try some chili and paprika bread and see how that goes down. I don't think I'd rush to pay this much for it again. Between two, it's but fine. I don't feel unsatisfied that I've paid that money it's not like we've it's not like go back to Burger King again it's not like we paid 24 quid yeah and we didn't rate the burger and we didn't like it we paid an extra two pounds and it's yeah I'm happy well, I've got a cookie as well yeah but that's that, that was nine pound 40 between yeah. two that's fine oh between two yeah definitely it's not even a fiver each for a sandwich, a hash browns, a cookie and a drink. Mm. So the filling that's inside it is the Italian BMT. There's another option on the cheesy garlic bread section. Uh, so one of them's uh, BMT, the other one, what was that? Meatball marinara. Meatball marinara. So we're not sure if they're the only two options you can get it with. They are. No. Are they? Yeah. I don't know so why. that. Maybe it don't go with any. Maybe they've kept it to the more like Italian -y style. Yeah, but then surely it'll go with chicken pizziola or something. Bloody hell, chicken pizziola. Ch well, that's chicken, salami, um, and well, then yeah. the meatball mariana sauce. But it's not like, would it go with tuna? Like tuna, like my tuna and cheese one that I get. Would it go well, with no, that? Well, no, it wouldn't go with that. But I mean, what it goes with is completely your own choice, isn't it? If it tastes rubbish. Is there a magpie in the reflection or is it a pigeon? Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Mr. Magpie. How's your wife and family? Kids. Family? Kids. Don't kids. think about the whole family. I'm thinking about the aunties, the uncles, the kids as well. Um, great aunties, great everyone. Cousins. No, just thinking about the kids. I'm thinking about the parents as well. I'm thinking about that magpie as well. It's so pretty. But if uh, anyone else are the same as us, so from a child my mum has got me saying so, um good afternoon mr magpie I have to salute it well you've got me saluting it i didn't used to salute it Did you not? no no oh. i always saluted it and i look stupid walking down the street if you're by yourself you see a magpie i'm like yes i have to do a little one <laughs> it's bad luck if you don't do it yeah well apparently but We've done it for that long, you just can't stop doing it. Because what if, what if? You, you don't know? salute that magpie that one time. It's like, do you really get bad luck if you break a mirror for seven years? Oh. You don't want to test it, do you? I broke a mirror. Did you have bad luck? No, I've been here for five. <laughs> Two more years left, and I'm gone. The feathers are so pretty, they're like, they turn blue. Yeah, I know, but he's unlucky. If there were two of them, I'd be happy, but he's just rubbing it in. I didn't realise they were carnivores. What do you mean? I saw one eating a bloody rabbit off the road. Oh, I forgot. What? We got crispy onions in this, didn't we? Onions Completely as well. Completely forgot about oh, that. Oh, there's another magpie. Cheer for joy. Completely forgot we got crispy onions. Mm. Well, I don't know if that's good or bad because I wasn't tasting them. They must have added to the flavour. They can't have taken away from what the flavour. Didn't get a crunch. No, I didn't get a crunch, but the garlic might have seeped in and, and turned them into Maybe. real onions or whatever onions. To say I've uh, sacrificed my salad for that, it was still completely worth it. Because I would normally get peppers, onions, cucumber, tomato, jalapenos, olives, pretty much everything apart from sweet corn and pickles. We've got a white chip and macadamia. Mm, another thing about the cookies, they're quite greasy and see through the bag as well. Not like the hash browns. No, but I mean for a like a cookie. For a cookie. It leaks a lot. 
Oh my god. Wow. That was amazing. So you give me the one with the big bit of white chocolate on. <laughs> oh, I didn't drink it. It was a nut, yeah. What do you think? Not bad. Mm. I've had better cookies. Yeah, I don't think Subway pride themselves on their on their cookies. I haven't had a nut yet. They're like, oh, they're yeah. almost like a biscuit. They're not very nutty. Kind of the same scale as an almond, but like quite creamy nuts, macadamias. Well, so we're about to discuss the verdict. <laughs> um. Didn't quite enjoy it as much as the Taco Bell burrito. My review is an eight out of ten. I was gonna go with an eight. Because as I was getting to the end of it, I found it a bit sickly. No, I didn't. I did. Mine should go up to an eight point five then. Mm. They are putting it on the same scale as a Taco Bell. I'm giving it its own scale. And my experience today made me feel like an 8.5. It was nice, but it got a bit sickly towards the end. So you couldn't have a full... No, definitely not. I don't think a I full can sub. Have, I don't think I can ever have a full sub. Oh, I can. So that's been all from <laughs> us today. We've been Vloggers E. Don't forget to like. And subscribe. And hit that little bell button. Bye-bye for now. Ta-ta for now. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.